I so, think mine's working, but uh, oh, it is. It is. I am live on our Instagram, Instagram and Facebook Live for a diving into the unknown healing session. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And I was, I basically wasn't about to come. Mm -hmm. I chose the gym and other things, mm -hmm. which is just realizing the patterns that I do um, <clears throat> of I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, mm -hmm. and they just feel so logical and and make sense, but right. it's just it's just one it's just my way of stepping out of being seen right and hiding. Yeah, thank you for acknowledging that. Mm. I'm gonna try and put this um this microphone in and please. and please. If you guys are there, please let us know that you can still hear us. Can you hear us? That Somebody said be... they couldn't hear us? Um, no. Hey, Instagram family. <laughs> can you guys hear us? This is my gorgeous friend Lily. I'm on her live. <laughs> We're, you're on my live. Guys, <laughs> can you hear us? Yes. Yay. Awesome. All right, let's. Let's pin this between us. Is that alright? Yeah. And we're just diving into the unknown together. Yeah. And just freestyling this. Freestyling. <laughs> so I was just um, um, in school, in counseling school, we kind of, uh, we come in and we, we just say a feeling and then we say uh, like a word of that feeling mm -hmm. um, and how intense it is from mm -hmm. a scale from zero to ten. Mm -hmm. So what a feeling that you're presently feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm. And please, you guys, follow along and do this practice yourself. Sadness. Mm. And what was the number? Um, it's not intense, but it is there. Um, mm. It's number seven. Mm. Like mm. A, a deep, yeah, deep, like mm. fatigue, sadness. Mm. Mm. Um, I had a, a few. There was excitement. Um, Excitement slash, you could say it's fear, but but I can tune in where it's excitement. Um, and yeah, it's probably about a seven. And then also there's sadness and with where I'm at with it right now is, is a seven too. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so... Yeah, so we were just talking before and um, saying so we're present with there's stuff moving through us and and you came over to kind of like I offered to do like a mini session with you, Taryn, but really, you know, we're just like doing this together. Um, and we were saying how the feelings are present, but also there's a little layer of either numbness or that like tiredness which is kind of like like can't quite get into get the into it yeah this uh, I was saying right when I um, decide I'm gonna do something mm -hmm. like whether it's enter a heat like a uh, workshop and sign up for it or mm -hmm. do something it's like life just starts presenting like the things that need to be brought up into that so mm -hmm. um i i just while i was driving i had i just was feeling such intense emotions mm -hmm. and like you know like what why mm -hmm. i'm am I, like you know pr trying to distract myself from not feeling those things and trying to be yeah but um i'm ha like you know just talking to myself and it's just like but it's like, oh yeah, this is exactly what's happening, is I'm getting prepared mm -hmm. to whatever we're about to experience. Mm -hmm. 
and not to push that away mm -hmm. and then or change that to be in another way and mm -hmm. it's like the feeling of um, why I changed my mind to come here is that I I'm, I'm like still hiding still mm -hmm. hiding and still strategize, strategizing of mm -hmm. how I want to be seen mm -hmm. and our dear sister Kate um, ha was live today and she was talking about the throat chakra mm -hmm. and how um, everything is expressed through that, mm -hmm. our being, our self and, yeah. and if, what, what are you hiding for, mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. when you don't expose whatever you're thinking and feeling mm -hmm. and going live, mm -hmm. I don't do this often as my people on Instagram know, mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, um, I just am tired of hiding mm -hmm. and I'm I'm willing to be seen mm -hmm. I had um, my aunt um, or I shouldn't say my family member mm -hmm. rip into me about all the judgments mm -hmm. and she just didn't hold back mm -hmm. and it's I'm thankful for for her even though it brought up a lot of anger and stuff but it's just like finally allowed me even more to drop the validation piece mm. and like step into it like you I just I'm just getting started <laughs> <laughs> you know and you're not okay with this oh god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get prepared or whatever else is coming because I'm just like dibbling yeah <laughs> I'm just dipping my toe in the being authentic and being visible and being seen yeah so it was yeah. a present yeah. it was a present from mm. from her mm. an ability to really like create boundaries and mm. I stepped into it said okay you know like sorry this is you just don't get to tell me what's right and wrong anymore mm -hmm. like it's just it, you just there's a boundary here what are you not understanding mm -hmm. there's no argument in this mm -hmm. I know it's deep condition that you don't understand but there's a boundary mm -hmm. and just creating these boundaries I created these boundaries with a girlfriend of mine and it's just like mm -hmm. it's been it's been such a powerful learn like a self-love experience and I've known that but just to actually like it's about action mm -hmm. right like we we hear all these we read all these things and it's like it's like action is where you feel like oh my god right the experience yeah. of ev like uh, okay well I get why this is so important I get right. why this and it teaches other people mm -hmm. how they're showing up mm -hmm. and how to teach how to treat you mm -hmm. so it's like such a powerful experiencing these mm -hmm. boundaries and creating them yeah bringing the knowing into the knowing and the knowing into the knowing of the action the mm -hmm. doing yeah bringing courage through through every step yeah it's like a little baby like being pushed you can do it you can do yeah. it you can do it i still feel like i'm such a kid oh my god <laughs> such a baby such a freaking baby so, um, yeah, and so we were saying, you know, we want to do some, do some practices. Um, I'll lead us through some practices, and if you have anything you want to share, feel free. And um, to move the energy and not in a way of we want to get rid of this energy or fix it or transmute it but to create more space for it to to create more space for it to create more f space for so it so it's like to it's exist. amped up like yeah 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 so whatever it is if you are tuning in and tuning into what emotions what feelings are present for you and what intensity they're at uh as we do the practices you're creating more space for it to exist for it to have a voice for its message to be heard to be seen to be accepted to be loved um so it may feel like it gets more intense and i and i and if anybody's like me um i like to know the why mm -hmm. so why would somebody want to be feeling their emotions mm -hmm. even more intensely like mm -hmm. you know why mm -hmm. why is that <laughs> i know why but i'm <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're posing the question yeah, i am um, the why for me is because it's there anyway 
and when I don't bring conscious presence, awareness and compassion and curiosity to it, then it's running my life in a more unconscious way. It's running my life in uh, destructive ways. Um, it's, yeah, it's creating shit that I don't want and what and that uh, I, I don't want from other people also. So um, it's important and truly I think what we're here to learn as human beings that um, feeling all of it is a gift and it's really the only way that we can heal and feel alive and feel alive exactly because you can't turn down the volume on your sadness and your anger and your you know sexual primal part of you you can't turn down your uh, wounding and and then still have a fully open heart and and experience aliveness and like abundance that. and joy and love it, it, it all like turns that. down you numb out everything and so if you truly want to be alive and feel all of the good stuff and have truly deep connections and experiences then you have to take away the the mufflers on your sadness and your anger and your fear I just see Nate saying that we're together and it's hilarious that you know him too. <laughs> hey, Nate! <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, I w can I, 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 this is exactly what I wanted to say and I just, the why for me has been so clear. It's like this resilience with emotions is what I've been like, I think everybody, including me, around me is trying their best to have it. Hmm. The resilience and experience emotion mm. because it's there mm. and second of all well I didn't really say the why but why is being alive like I feel like I'm if I'm not like uh, lately I've been like feeling the numbness mm. like um so I've been feeling like the anger and the sadness and then the aliveness and like seeing like how they're all so interconnected like once I experience the anger I experience the sadness and then I experience joy and like this childlike space of being fun and happy and so I'm like whoa 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 emotions like I feel alive I'm like experiencing this human being like of me that's supposed to be experiencing these emotions mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll be like driving <laughs> and like I, I actually really just want to open my mouth and just be like <laughs> and just feel like whoa okay so I'm feeling numb right yeah now. I'm feeling nothing yeah and do I want this experience because mm -hmm. like what is how is this making me feel like how is this experience making me feel it's making me feel really not connected not in relationship with others. I actually don't even want to speak to anybody. Yeah. I just want to be... It's not really peace. It's it's not peace because peace is like... Peace. Like peace it feels like expansive. This feels heavy. Yeah, it feels the like... The feels heavy. Exactly. And so it's like, okay, so obviously I'm, I'm numbing down mm -hmm. something. And sometimes I just don't have the desire to really... Because I don't want to do the work. The right, energy to come up. or... Yeah, the desire. Um, and then it's like, okay, yeah, I, I definitely want to feel more alive yeah. than what I'm feeling right yeah. now. Yeah, and it's so important to just not judge that numbness either and that place of, wow, I'm just like in a place of I don't want to do the work right now. I don't want to feel. I don't want to connect. And I acknowledge that and have compassion for that and it's okay and... There'll be a new wave, there'll be a new breath, there'll be a new moment. And also recognizing when and if we get there, we get stuck there. And if we get stuck there a lot, that, okay. Something's birthing, yeah, something needs something's to be birthing. Come out. And we also have to take that, like, initiative to move through the inertia. 
mm. to move through yeah. the stuckness. Yeah. It's like you're like wading through thick mud. Yeah. And that takes effort. Yeah. It, it doesn't take any effort to just sink into the mud. No, and I think sometimes it's, for me at least, it hasn't been that effortful. No. It's, it, it, I it mean, just, it, it's just awareness. Yeah. It's almost like, okay, but I'm if you feeling got that momentum because you're you're constant you are dedicated to a practice and you know um, yeah. expanding yourself for for other people you know they don't have that momentum behind them mm. that it's like yeah if they if they stop in the mud they're kind of like I think, lost i think the fear that i have had and my family members have had and other people i i know have had is being stuck yeah is oh once I experience this emotion, once I bring this forward, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be stuck. Right. And and yeah, there are moments. I mean, that's what people do. Like oh, I'm just stuck in this. I'm I'm gonna be. St and there is moments where you do get stuck in an emotion. Mm -hmm. But I think breath is not being included in that. Yeah. Exactly. Because if you're breathing through it, yeah, there's just no way you'll get stuck. Cause no. Breath is movement. Yeah. So let's do some breath. Okay. <laughs> Just want to see. Hey guys. Hi. Oh my gosh. I have Ritu, my cousin, All right. coming so in. So we're going to do some breath. Miss mm. you. Hey Penny. And yes, <sighs> Camille, for sure. The numb mix um, make, makes me feel appreciative of, of the intensity and also desiring of peace as well. There's like a. Uh, mm like this experience of mm. wanting both you know mm -hmm. like the longing yeah the longing our longing which we can see as like that sadness of like separation or disconnection or mm, the aloneness. illusion yeah the illusion of that but that longing is what can drive us to back to the connection mm. okay so um let's start with some um alternative nostril breathing you know that one? Oh yeah so yeah so you want to it doesn't matter how you do it but I like to place my finger my pointy finger in on my third eye so it's gonna look really funny and block up with your thumb and breathe in through one nostril your open nostril so I'm just curious would you want the viewers to try it as yeah, well? Yeah do it with us um, if you have the time and space. Yeah, like, if you're here, you may as well participate. And if not, chime in, like, I don't know, maybe five minutes after and see if we're, like, on another <laughs> yeah. space of, yeah, what this brings. Yeah. Mm. So, blocking out one nostril, breathing in the open. Blocking the open and breathing out the other. Breathing in. Block and hold. Open the other, breathe out. Breathing in. Block and hold. Opening the opposite, breathing out. Breathing in. Feeling your feet on the floor, holding for a second. Opening and exhaling. Feeling your buttocks, breathing in, breathing out. Have your eyes closed, breathing in. Bring your attention to your third eye, the center of your forehead, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Five more breaths. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. Three more.
last one. Let your hand relax down, keep your eyes closed, and just tune in to your sensations in your body. Letting your breath naturally move. Noticing any shifts in your physical sensations, your emotional body, your energetic body, and noticing where your mind and your thoughts are at. Good, and bringing your hands to your navel, to your belly button. Just tuning in as you breathe into your belly, expanding your belly like a balloon. And then exhaling, you bring the belly button back towards the spine. So you're kind of like pushing the air out, breathing in, blowing it up. Exhale, push it back or pull it back. Draining the air. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, pull the belly button back towards the spine. <laughs> Emptying all the air. Let it fill. And let it push out. Really imagine like there's a string from your belly button to the back of your spine. Good, and as you do this, filling up the belly first, the lower belly, the lower back, and then bringing the air all the way up into the rib cage. Exhale, draining the rib cage, come down, the belly comes in. Inhale, filling up, bottom to top. Exhale. Staying present with your feet, with your body, your sensations and your emotions. Pulling the breath all the way up into the crevices of the throat. Exhale, let it go. You can let out sound, inhale, expand, exhale, let out a sigh. Inhale, receiving whatever it is that you're feeling, making more space for it to exist, more room. Three more breaths like this. Mm. <sighs> Feeling the vibrations of sound. <sighs> Last one. Sending the energy down into the earth. <sighs> like you're Dropping an anchor from your tailbone deep into the earth's core. Spreading your roots down into the ground. Anchoring yourself in the here and now. And we just call on the creator and the beings of unconditional love and light. Call upon our higher selves, our ancestors our team of unconditional love and light to surround us all now. For deepest healing, deepest awareness, deepest love, deepest compassion, deepest grace, deepest integration,
And in this space, just keeping your hands on your body, so maybe they're both on your belly, one on your hand, heart, one on your belly. And staying just in tune with your natural breath, in tune with your feet on the floor, your butt, where it's sitting, what it's touching on, feel that grounding. And sending the message, either internally saying this or externally saying this, to any part of you that feels disconnected, any part of you that feels afraid, angry, resentful, separated, fragmented, shameful, any part of you that feels unloved, saying to that now, I'm here, I'm listening, I'm being present with you now. I have space for you. I'm sorry for running away from you. Please forgive me for any times that I have shamed you, tried to fix you, change you. Please have forgiveness and compassion for any times that I will again numb out from you. Thank you. I love you. I'm here for you. I'm listening. What message do you have for me? I'm breathing as you say this, breathing as you feel this. Making space for any message to come through. <sighs> and just noticing whatever's there. Often when we tune into these parts of us that haven't really, we haven't really given the attention and the presence and the acceptance, those parts of us are actually angry at us or upset or at us or don't trust us to actually take care of them. It's like we're the parent and they're the children and we've just been putting them in a corner instead of listening to what they actually need and listening to what they feel without trying to change it. Mm. So just be with any part of you that maybe feels like, hmm, cool, you're saying those things to me, but I don't quite feel safe with you. And be with that and breathe that in and let that part know I'm sorry please forgive me I love you thank you I know I've let you down and I'm doing my best I'm doing my best right now um, it's interesting how being seen in that practice um, I had so many of my wounded thoughts come up just now yeah just mm -hmm. um, or how I'm looking mm. or are people bored <laughs> are they tuning out mm -hmm. do they think I'm crazy mm -hmm. for doing this and it's like mm -hmm. wow those were just my my in my inner child voices mm. still wanting mm. desiring to be accepted mm -hmm. And strategizing and how can I take care how can of them I take care of them yeah. and really this is a gift mm -hmm. what we're doing is a gift um, 
by showing up for ourselves and by doing it in in a way that it's seen where if they want to use that they want to be with us in that then mm -hmm. there's like a free it's session. their choice yeah it's, they have free will they have free choice yeah so it's just um wow mm. the wounded self is is there quite a bit mm. and i love that you keep saying that it's a gift that uh, other people or this inner voice or these feelings um, that we would often either shut down to or be in reaction to or blame or shame um, instead it's it's a gift yeah it's a gift this was a gift being seen um, right now is a gift <laughs> mm. so I'd love um, I'd love anyone to share anything that's coming up for you guys. Can we do this at the same time <laughs> every day? My friend just said, can we do oh, this at the same time every awesome. day? That would be really good. Um, we'll have beautiful. to work out some timing, yeah. yeah. Amanda, Solera. You two should connect. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, you miss Tartan? <laughs> You're glo- Oh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Taryn, you're glowing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks, love. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Camille, for, like, doing that with me, for always being in the journey with me, and for whoever else that's been tuning in. Lots of love and Taryn. appreciation. <laughs> Taryn. I have no idea what the time is right now. I would love to know because I have a podcast interview. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean we're tuning but, out? Um, no, I want to. I mean, I want to go. I want to go deeper and keep going. Let me run and check what the time is because I can't see it on my phone. Okay, hold this. Love you, Camille. Mm. Now that I got the flow by myself, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm just gonna sit here and drink some water. I just. I'm just being. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Voices, voices. So easy for me to um, hide behind being funny or being quirky. And those are great things. Like... I'm really understanding about stories is that um, not to shame them, our stories and our, um, our, our ways, our quirky ways to get love and our str like the ways that we want to, you know, um, find ways to be accepted so we'd strategize and those are all part of our um, stories, you know, and they all give us some awesome skills mm -hmm. they all give us these abilities to be these perfect beings that we are um, but there is a time when we can stop drop and just take home those skills that we've created that we've created for to get love yeah. um, but now come from a place of caring for ourselves and still honing those skills as their skills are ours yeah. those are ours so does that make sense? Does that make sense it to you? It makes total sense. Mm. Yeah, those those ways that we strategize and manipulate to get what we want, uh, I mean, they help us to survive and they help us to get what we want. And then also, they also take away from us getting what we want and being having yep. like real, authentic um, relationships and experiences. Amanda, it's not raining right now, but there's a water fountain down there, so... It's always sound, oh, sounds oh, like there's yes, water around. Yeah, there's water everywhere in Boston. Yeah, let me... Oh, thank you, love. We do look beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at this gorgeous being. <laughs> down there. I, it's, so, it's so nice. It's like eye candy for me. <sighs> this is Bali all the time. <laughs> I'm spoiled. All right, are we going to get back into... <laughs> Are we <laughs> doing more? Um, How are we feeling? How am I feeling? Mm. Mm. What do you want to do? I say we do a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna do uh, a little stronger breath. So that breath that we were doing, filling up the belly and then pulling the belly button back towards the spine, we're gonna do that but faster. So it's like this. Okay, keep going. So you're focusing on the exhale, like you're sneezing out your nose, and on the sneeze, the exhale, your belly button comes back towards the spine. Let the inhale happen naturally. Okay, 30 more seconds, and really keep your hands on your belly, on your lower body, to stay connected and grounded. And this is a breath that is detoxifying and clearing away what you don't need. Ten. Deep breath in. Squeeze on your pelvic floor. Stop yourself from going pee muscles. Hold the breath. Exhale into the ground. <sighs> Inhale. Squeeze and hold the breath. Bring it up to whatever part of your body you feel needs opening. Exhale into the ground. <sighs> Inhale one more time, squeezing up. Holding and kind of visualizing, circling the energy wherever it needs to open. Exhale down. Just sit with that for a moment. Be with your sensations. So we're gonna go to one more round. Um, so yeah, this is a detoxifying breath, a cleansing breath, so anything in mind body or spirit that is like like knots and causing like a blockage in the flow of your creative energy um it's clearing that away mm -hmm. so again yeah you may have thoughts emotions memories sensations whatever coming up um and just know that they're coming up to the surface coming into the light from the subconscious realm so that you can see them clearly with love that gift that Taryn's talking about and then and love them and integrate them and cleanse them release them um, and if you're doing this breath and it's really difficult for you a lot of people have difficulty doing it because they don't have this core root um, strength and flexibility connection um, then just do it at your own pace. You can go slower than we are doing it. Um, it's a muscle. It takes practice. And also if you're doing it and you feel like this is really hard, this is a lot of effort and I want to stop, uh, then it's a really great practice for you to do because that feeling of like it's too hard, I want to stop, is the inertia the kind of like depression that keeps you stuck. That's what came up for me. That you want to break through. I just, I was like, I want to like hide and go away. Like I'm done, that's it, I'm Dover. I know, and that's why I was like, all right. And I was like, wow, that's, this is a pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I, I dipped my toe in. Yeah, cool, I'm good, I'm, good I'm now. out. I just want to get out now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be seen anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Take a deep breath into your belly. Deep exhale. <sighs> deep inhale. Deep exhale. <sighs> deep inhale. And pull, pull the belly back and forth.
Spirit, keep going. As you do this, stay connected to your pelvic floor. What is your pelvic floor naturally doing? If there's any part of your body that's tensing and tightening up, see if you can actively relax it at the same time as putting in this effort. 30 more seconds, pushing through your blocks. Holding on to the vision of what you want to be feeling and experiencing. 10. Inhale. Pulling up on your pelvic floor muscles. And when you exhale, exhale out, out your nose only into the earth, letting the earth just melt, take away anything you don't need. Inhaling, holding the breath, circulating it where it needs to open and heal, and keeping the mouth closed to keep your energy and your power internal. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. And just sit again, noticing, observing, witnessing, being present, allowing. Hmm. Again, asking that question. What message do you have for me? What do you need from me? Attachments. Mm. How is the music? As I say, let go. I, I have my dad call me. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm not letting go of him. Don't worry, dad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just um. So interesting because chiming into people that are coming on to the live it's just like it's bringing up these like past past things that I still haven't fully let go of yeah. this is giving me such a big opportunity to to do this like wow carrying stuff for other people mm -hmm. it's like stopping me to like fully spreading my wings. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to share anything? It sounds so peaceful. She just wants to mm. come to Bali. <laughs> yeah, you do. And come yeah, hang yeah. out with us sisters <laughs> right here. Mm. <sighs> Is there any part in your body that is um, speaking to you? Especially my heart. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to open my heart because like, I realize like when I drive or I'm living life, I become so like crouched mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. And it's such a, a, like a natural way for me to go like this. And mm -hmm. whenever I open it, it feels so like, who am I trying to be here? Like, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> You're trying to be all, like, put out your chest out, you know? Mm. Put your chest out like a man, like, kind of conversation where you're like, this feels so odd, like, mm. just to be, like, 
in my power and my fullness and my heart and being seen and my heart's like opening and just like experiencing this I just feel a difference in like I'm ready world almost Mm -hmm. like the you know Mm -hmm. the it's just in a posture Mm -hmm. it changes Mm -hmm. and it's just that much more um confirming that um everything is just reflecting on what's going on inside Mm -hmm. so if I'm Wherever I'm at, it's I just look into the body and how it's responding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that voice of who am I to open and be seen and to stand in my power. And being with that mm-hmm. voice. Mm-hmm. Going, who am I not? Yeah. And I, I just am because I am, because I exist, because I'm here. Yeah. And it's such a, um, I get more and more um, doing this, like, this um, uh, knowing of how social media is so powerful to allow, like, there's a balance, there's always been, like, a worry for me of privacy and, like, um, exposure, Mm -hmm. um, being vulnerable in places that is um, not sensitive, right, right? Um, and having a yeah ability to to shut that down but what i see in in being live is is that it's like i'm right i'm setting myself up Mm -hmm. to be with you Mm -hmm. in a place i feel very comfortable Mm -hmm. with and then that's just transmitting out versus um sharing every moment Mm -hmm. being in your phone capturing a story Mm -hmm. consistently Mm -hmm. and and s- getting out of the moment every right. time. Yeah. So you can either, social media can I either be a distraction away from being seen. Um, and being and, strategizing, and making it look pretty and mm-hmm. making it, you know, it's just. Or it can be a tool for you to step more fully into your vulnerability. Wow, that's powerful. So in any moment, how am I using wow. social media? Thank you. That oh, is so many beautiful people. Hi, Dale. Hanu. Oh, Hanu? how do you know Dale? Um, maybe because you're tagged in it. Ah. Oh my Who gosh. Is he <laughs> people are seeing me on Facebook. God damn it! I thought I was only ready for Instagram. <laughs> Hi. That's funny. Okay. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, sister. You Thank provided you. me with so much, so much insight today, and you really helped me shift something that I had been needing to. I've been wanting to go live and wanting to be seen mm. for so long, mm. and it's it's been a really hard thing. And using in like social media in the ways that are not super authentic, and I just didn't know how to get to that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and we so often think it's like it's. You know, it's that good or bad polarity thing that we go into. Like, it's either, you know, if we start to realize how we're using sh- social media to disconnect and hide, then we, we think, oh, uh, well, I just need to, like, completely go off everything and, you know... Just do, cut it off. Cut it all off and do the monk in the cave thing. But there is polarity in everything, and there is poison and medicine in everything, and uh, a gift and a shadow in everything and so just being Mm. aware of that and then also wow how can we actually use this Mm -hmm. it's like the the internet was an ancient prophecy i think it was like a mayan culture Mm. that prophesized spider medicine spider medicine being the web Mm -hmm. the web of life that connects us all and they said in in future times there will be this web that connects everybody all over the world and that's the internet that we are we have this and so how are we actually going to use this mm. it's funny that we're i don't know it's all related it's all related so what was what's funny about it i don't yeah. know i was like oh now we're talking about social media but it's all related it's being seen oh it's like so big um and yeah it's it's what i brought in it because this yeah. is what i'm coming yeah. up with this is yeah. a huge thing for me yeah yeah mm. thank you mm. um so yeah let's wrap up but uh I want to do some eye gazing with you. Yes. Do you want to do that? Let's do it. Okay. Um, he said, take care. Is that your take other... Take care, Dale. Uh, Sending you so much love. Mm. I miss you. Say <laughs> hi to the kids. Oh, I missed you too.
to. Mm. Thank you for tuning in, Dale. Um, so if you're alone right now, I would invite you to get a mirror, go to your bathroom mirror and do this practice with yourself. And if you're with somebody, then ask them to do it with you. Hi, Kat. Hmm. So and we're going to be eye gazing. This like, is one of my favorite yeah. things with the, one of my favorite people to <laughs> eye gaze with. Okay, everybody look at her eyes. <laughs> Just look at her eyes. They're like blue and amazing and I can just see everything in them you can't really see right now you can't see it in here but oh my god I'm so excited okay let's do it alright so you're simply going to look at <laughs> do I have lipstick <laughs> <laughs> okay you're simply going to look at either your partner's eyes or your own eyes in the mirror and breathe breathe that belly to heart breath belly to heart, heart to belly, and accept and make space for whatever you're feeling. So if there's parts of you that are like, ah, oh, I don't want them to see me. Um, breathe into that and make a courageous choice to be vulnerable. How the heck do you two know each other? <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. uh, hi, yeah, I guess we didn't look at our mutual friends. Jeff Chapman. <laughs> well, hi, I knew Jeff in Vancouver in Canada. I'm from Vancouver. Oh, well, <laughs> and now we're in Bali. All right. So if you're breathing with somebody, you want to match your breath. Allowing all of those parts that are afraid of being seen to be seen. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm leaving now. Me too. Bye.